Hey guys, today I'm happy to announce that Apple has officially released iOS 12.0.1 to the general public, to everyone, to address several issues with the new iPhones 10s, 10s Max, and some of the iPads, and some issues overall with software for iOS 12. Now, if you follow me here on the channel, this software was expected to be released soon, 12.0.1, and here it is. Apple released it today, as I mentioned, with build number 16A404. Now, the software update is approximately 100 megabytes, give or take, if you're updating to iOS 12.0.1 from iOS 12 on any of these devices, iPhone 8, iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max. And the software update, although is not large in size, it's large in fixes. It has a bunch of fixes, especially for the new iPhones 10s uh, that would not recognize charge when connected to the lightning cable. Remember, we talked about that here on the channel, the charging gate, which I did test, connected my iPhone 10s Max after putting it to sleep, and it didn't instantly recognize charge, at least in my, in my experiments here. And that issue seems to be resolved with 12.0.1. Some other issues resolved with iOS 12.0.1, you see here that it will resolve some issues where when rejoining a Wi-Fi network at 2.4 gigahertz instead of five gigahertz. So if you're at home and you have both bands and it will connect to the slower one instead of the faster one, those issues on the iPhones 10s and 10s Max have been resolved with this software update as well. On the iPad, it also resolves an issue that restores the original positions of the question mark uh, numbers one, two, three on the keyboard for the iPad. That was an issue with iOS 12. Uh, that Apple has been resolved with 12.0.1. Uh, Fixes also with subtitles on some applications like YouTube video applications that wouldn't show subtitles. That's also been addressed here. And thank God, Apple also resolved the Bluetooth issue that Bluetooth will become unresponsive. So Bluetooth has also been addressed with iOS 12.0.1. Now, if you want to update, which I do recommend, you want to go, of course, to general software updates, and you'll see the update here. I highly recommend that it fixes all these issues. Props to Apple for getting on this quickly. Now, keep in mind, we also have iOS 12.1, which will bring the new emojis and all that good stuff in the future, uh, but 12.0.1 fixes a lot of the issues now. So there you guys have it. Just a quick breakdown, letting you guys know of some of these uh, fixes that Apple is implemented today with 12.0.1. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.